So here's the secret of how I calculate my returns of borrowings. Uh, because one of a uh, community member, his name is Niraj, uh, he shared with me right now that uh, the numbers are kind of airy fairy. Um, maybe I should have done or maybe illustrated those numbers in that video. But uh, in this video, I'm just going to go through. Okay, so let's head straight to the numbers. So here are the numbers uh, of how I calculate the return on borrowing uh, across my three reads. Uh, I'm definitely using my own ex, uh, formulas which I'm which I'm going to go through in this video. So uh, by by viewing watching this video to the end, you can see that how uh, I calculate my numbers. So I have Suntech here, I have Capital more here, and I have the new kit on the block. Capital DC. So let's head straight back to Suntech. Um, we know REITs has an underlying business. Uh, it's basically doing rental business, right? Uh, I'll definitely have uh, row three down here, revenue, uh, less of the cost of service sold. And that's how I will get my net profit after tax. But I just wanted to go into the cell to show you how I get this number because this number, net profit, uh, is going to be used when I calculate my returns on borrowing. So let's go in there. You can see that uh, there is this B6 and B7. Um, I use net property income before paper gains and taxes because uh, I don't wish to put in non cash flow items because at the end of the read the read needs to pr uh, be able to generate uh, dividends and these are cash flow items uh, if you don't really understand uh, this term for now uh, right now uh, no worries you just need to take note that some uh, items on the profit and loss statements uh, does not involve does not involve a cash flowing to and fro some items involve a cash flowing to and fro okay but for now, uh, I just want to show you how uh, I calculate my net profit for my REITs. You can see that uh, it uh, the net profit includes two things, net property income before paper gains and taxes. The next thing is distribution from ventures. Um, some of my REITs, they, it has a joint venture with some other parties and it receives uh, distributions from those ventures. Thus, uh, that's why I wanted to insert this thing called the distribution from ventures into the net profit of a REIT. Okay. Uh, likewise, for Capital Mall, I do the same thing also. If I look at the net profit, you can see that uh, it includes the net property income before paper gains and taxes and distribution from ventures. And also for the new kit on the block, yes, I do that also so that I'm consistent when I calculate my uh, net profit. So that's it. Um, the next thing, how do I check is the total borrowing. I am super conservative here um, because personally, I have an experience of uh, loaning people money and the particular business owner did not know how to take care of her operating leases and the landlord threatened to take away uh, the or so-called sell that unit to another landlord. So uh, that's one of the lessons that I learned uh, when I deal with uh, physical stores or physical properties. So I, that's how I added all the security deposits. Uh, anything that the REIT is liable in its cost of providing rental services. Okay. Uh, with a bigger number, it means that I'm getting a bit conservative. So, uh, Please practice in better thinking here. So for Capital Mall and Capital DC, I also employ and apply the same definitions into uh, calculating the total borrowings for each week. Uh, with that two components in place, meaning the net profit and the total borrowings, I'll scroll down. That's where you can see at row 27, uh, I sometimes read has a return on borrowing of 5% right now if I go to uh, Capital Mall right or known as CICT right now it is at 7.4 how about Capital DC the new kit on the block 
uh, let's go down and unview so that's 16 percent uh, with that said this practice and event thinking now you uh, roughly understand whenever I calculate the net profit or whenever I calculate my numbers uh, I do use an Excel file and I only zoom in into very uh, targeted reads of course, uh, you are even going to use any other platforms that you are most comfortable with to get your numbers. But all these numbers uh, that I get from the, or I put it into my Excel, is all from the annual reports. So I know it's like, I wouldn't say I'm a Japanese chef being anal, you know, but uh, or learning or being very precise of how I slice uh, my sashimi. But uh, that is how uh, I get the numbers for my reads. Uh, thanks for watching. If you find that, uh, if you have some friends who are looking to invest in either Suntech, uh, CICT or Capital DC, uh, please share this video with them. Uh, of course, I look forward to meeting them as my fellow shareholders in AGM. And today is uh, 1st Gen 2022. Uh, may 2022 be a fruitful and prosperous year for yourself. So I'll see you in the next video. Just where the